Hello everyone. So in the previous video, we have seen a Falcon model. The model is quite big. Thus, we can run such model in production as constraint of latency and requirement of hardware needs. As model size is directly proportional to the latency, so it hampers the user experience. To solve this problem, in traditional, we used to add the dropout layer in the model to reduce competition multiplication as it reduces the number of nodes in the models by making it zero. After that, we shift it to the knowledge distillation where our base model becomes the master and we create a smaller version of the model as a student and master teaches the students. That way, a student learns the parameter or the weights and result in reduced model size. But in today's, the rise of LLM brings new challenges. We still can try those methods, but as LLMs are multiple GBs and million billions of parameters, reducing each parameter results in low performance. There is also other problem with LLMs, as it cannot fit in RAM. So to solve this problem, bits and bytes has introduced a simple concept. As we know, 4 bit is smaller than 8 bits and 8 bits to 16 bits. So Instead of reducing the modal parameters for making a size small, we can change the bits of the weights or parameter. That's way we can reduce the modal size to fit in the RAM and also it requires less computation power to compute. This is what we are going to see today. I found the repo of Falcon 7B for code, which will demonstrate us about everything today. Is find your model of Falcon with a code base and it performs really well. The adapter the JSON contains all the information about the models. If we see the adapter the JSON from the repo here, we can see that is yes, the base model is Falcon 7B Sarad BF16. So let's get started. As we are going to use Puffed and Falcon 7B for our demonstration because the Falcon 7B means 7 billion parameter models cannot fit in the RAM and the inference time for that model is very slow. So to solve that problem, we first load the model by using auto model for casual LM and we requires a config file from the base model we have seen earlier. The config file can be loaded by pop config dot from pretend and the tokenizer from auto tokenizer from from pretend so let's check the model parameter in the model we can see load in 8 bits equals to true this means all the weights of the model is reduced to 8 bits while loading it in the ram if you try doing it without the config the ram will be over overloaded and system will shut down we can see after loading the model of an in an 8 bits parameter the model size is reduced to 1.19 gp which is completely less than the falcon original model in the previous video we have seen the falcon original model is around 9.47 gp that's a huge difference you can also try with a 4 bit loading it will further reduce the model size and result in faster inference so so lastly we need to define our model in an perf where we pass our models and perf model id the perf model id basically requires an adapter the json file config to do its magic and we set the model for an evaluation by model.eval then everything remains the same after that it's time for inference we define a genet function that does all the inference. First, we tokenize our prompt, and after the tokenization, we get input IDs with attention marks. They are the output that we get from the tokenizer. We pass these input IDs and our attention marks to our model that we defined earlier and get an generated output. With the generated output is decoded to get an result. So for an instruction as design a class for representing a person in a python 
the script is generated is something like this this is quite impressive also if we ask a model to write a script to upload a file to the s3 we get a result as this note we just pass 256 character for a model to generate if you increase the maximum length size of a model the more the text it generates this is what i want to show you today you can try with all of your you can try with other prompts as you like i will link the collab notebooks in my description below so that's all for this video in the next video we'll see if we could fine tune the models by using perf and create our one after the json as we see in here so if you like my video please like share and subscribe and happy learning